Hi guys! Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, today I decided to do the Caribbean YouTuber tag and there are questions that are on Facebook. <sighs> Using my iPad today for this that I'm going to answer for you guys. And it was done by some other YouTubers in this group. So there's a Facebook group and a WhatsApp group. So I will link the playlist down below in the cards. And there were YouTubers from all the Caribbean. So we had Jamaicans, Lucians, Trinis, <laughs> you name it, they're in there. And I'm going to do it now. As a Bajan, let me get this started. Okay. So the first question is, what Caribbean island are you from? Well, <laughs> Isa Bajan, Barbados. Woo -woo. Next question. What do you love most about your country? Well, for sure, for sure, I love the beaches. <laughs> this little island. I love all the beaches on the west coast I've been to. I've not been to all, but I love the beaches. I love that we have our own fast food restaurant. Chafet. But they got about 15 locations and another one's supposed to be getting built sometime before 2021, I think. But yeah, we got 15 chaffettes on this little island. And also the Twitter elite. The gas from the Twitter elite, dog. Anything can happen. The men got me on Twitter gaffe and it's like... We had a little hurricane pass over at some point in time. The men talk so much crap on Twitter. I don't know, they're just find a way to make some people laugh during like terrible times to be quite honest. Three, what do I dislike most about my island? Honestly, it's the how small it is. Everybody's not everybody. I don't wanna put out not everybody that I know too. I just don't. And it's just me, like I had a friend and then met somebody else and he was like, oh him, oh no. <laughs> it's like everybody knows everybody, honestly. What is the wildest thing you ever did at a fete or party? Okay, so the last major fete I went to was UE Carnival weekend. So at Juve, split in the middle came, played. I was at the bar with my friend and it had like this water thing going on, like in the middle of the car park. I dropped on the split <laughs> and my friend was like, I was not expecting that. And when we like, came around to tell us stories afterwards, she was like, this girl dropping the split. I was like, huh? Oh yeah, at the bar. Yeah, I remember doing that. <laughs> and also at um, UB Carnival, their eye dropping splits all over the place when splitting the middle play, okay? We had it at the roundabout. How do I get back to UE? A few times, just out of the blue. And I will insert a clip over here. Daddy, no lie. Oh. Me almighty. Oh. Yeah, so I can link the video to that there too because y'all need to see what you be carnival and you be juve is all about. So yeah, that's like the wildest thing. I just usually drop in splits once split in the middle play. I don't go and climb scaffolding or jump on people, man. It's, it's not me. What is your favorite local dish from your island? I love our national dish, cuckoo and flame fish. So much so that I had to get somebody to teach me how to do cuckoo because my mother doesn't like it, so she doesn't do cuckoo. So I used to get it from like my aunt or my grandmother who died or another great aunt who also died. So I had to learn how to do cuckoo so that I can make it for myself. The flame fish probably for my mother. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just came to interrupt to say that while editing the video, I realized that I have skipped some questions or messed up, so I can't even start out. <laughs> what type of music is popular in your country? So, Bashment Soccer. <laughs> that is the one that a lot of us enjoy, to be quite honest. Yeah, we do like Power Soccer and Sweet Soccer, but Bashment whole of place in Beijing Hearts, okay? Can you cook? It's yes. Have you ever cooked on a coal stove? I can somewhat cook. Like I just said, I had to learn how to do cuckoo for myself. I could somewhat cook. Will I want people to taste my cooking? No, not really, no. I don't need y'all criticism. I already know it's not like the best cooking, but still. And no, I've never cooked on a coal stove. 
I will be 100% honest, I don't know what that is. So yeah, leave it at that. What do you hate most about the opposite sex from your island? Unfortunately, I've come across quite a few cocky fellas. Like, that's just it. I, can't, I hate it. I've had cocky friends. I'm not, I'm no longer friends with them. It's not because they're cockiness, but I just can't really take the cockiness from them. It's like, ugh. That, that's what I hate most about them. A lot of them are really, really cocky and I hate it. What do you like most about the Caribbean YouTube group? The Caribbean YouTube group is like a special bunch because the more jokes they crack and they just honestly they just talk a lot it's like just it's a little youtube family because you know the caribbean is necessarily the biggest place in the world it's obviously not the biggest place in the world but they made it a little group and stuff and i like talking to them actually it's fun that we get to see each other's videos quicker when they post it in the chat and stuff so i i like that about the chat if you had to live in another caribbean island where would it be and why? Look, you see all these flies here, right? We got Trinidad, Jamaica, St. Kitts, Dominica, St. Vincent, Guyana, St. Lucia. For some reason, my heart just telling me St. Lucia. I've never been to like, all these places though. I've just been to St. Lucia and Trinidad. But my heart just telling me St. Lucia. I don't know why. I just feel in St. Lucia in my heart. I will figure out why eventually but I just I feel I will live in St. Lucia to be quite honest I can't remember anything much about St. Lucia in the two or three times that I went obviously I didn't really care for the places I wasn't necessarily appreciating it but now I'm older I feel that I need to travel back to these countries and take in the culture I really feel I need to do that one day do you wash your meat when cooking okay let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, right? You need to wash your meat before you cook it. Don't just take it out of the packet and drop it in the pan. This way it's waiting for everybody, you know. Now me, personally, I don't cook meat. I would do fish, but I don't cook meat. If the meat is being cut, it will cook bad people in the house. So when they cook it, they have to either, they either like, wash it with vinegar or lay my salt the chicken. Ain't that hard to do? And please don't go and wash it with this dishwashing liquid. Please don't. Just because we say wash the chicken, the chicken, we don't actually mean wash the chicken with soap. Okay, just. <sighs> what Caribbean accent or dialect do you like the most? And you can't say your country. <laughs> I like the Lucian accent, and like this is because of a girl in the chat named Megan, who is a Saint Lucian. She's a Lucian, yeah. Uh, I love to hear her voice, to be quite honest. I'm going to link her channel in the cards and down below so you guys go and check out her videos. Which person or persons from your country inspires you to do what you do? So I will assume this pertains to YouTube. Honestly, it wasn't people from my country. And yes, I do know Barbados has YouTubers. We got Taekwon, we got Alec We Think, we have Oshanya, we have DJG <laughs> Pretty sure there are others that I probably just don't know of But it wasn't them. It was actually Our regional U students. So Monique, Dennis and Chevy P. I will link everybody's channels like in the description box to be quite honest Because the three of them they're at UE and when you go Google it and go well, on YouTube searching for you know things that happen at UE you don't see much besides Juve and Carnival and you don't really see and hear anybody speaking about their UE experiences so that is what actually made me wanted to start UE um <laughs> that's what what that is what inspired me to start a YouTube channel that I can speak about my UE experiences show some things that would have happened at UE yeah it's like when you go on you see things but more and more and more and more and more what about Barbados? What about KFO? So that's what inspired me to like actually start a video channel. Why is high school like in your country? Okay, so high school for me is secondary school and that is first to sixth form. We got two sixth farms to our upper. Um, well, for me, my school had about 1200 children at the time. 
we had like five fifth farm five first farms and then second to fifth were six or six i don't know because i didn't do six form i went to bcc instead but yeah so now at the school i went to we have six in every year group which is weird for me <laughs> but i mean you got people between 11 and 18 a thousand or something away it was probably not what is definitely not like one of the best experiences for me yeah i had good times at that school but yeah do you smoke weed no i do not i don't i know people who do but i don't do you live in a hut with grass skirts and red dolphins to work yeah guys can't wait till they get me new grass skirt every few weeks or every week can't wait to sit down and make it no you idiots no we don't we don't live in huts we don't ride dolphins to work and we don't wear grass skirts even though the grass skirt thing sounds kind of fun but we don't and i'm also scared of the ocean so forget me riding dolphin to work i don't know what y'all expect from the caribbean i really don't understand my bad there was actually our only friend who was like so i was told y'all wear grass skirts and coconut rods but he was just teasing, he would know better. Have you experienced the hurricane? If yes, what was it like? I have experienced about two hurricanes. Or, well, technically more because a lot of hurricanes do like pass over Barbados first. However, the one I can really remember was Thomas. Thomas was going for Trinidad. This say was like 2010. Because my sibling was graduating from St. Augustine, which is the UE campus in Trinidad. So she and my parents were in Trinidad, and I was with my cousin who lived right behind me, so that was fine. I remember waking up 4 o'clock in the morning outside, pitch black, and the lights were off. I was like, why is the electricity off? This is so weird. 6 o'clock in the morning now, outside, pitch black. Then I was like, oh shit, the hurricane come free. <laughs> the hurricane was going to Trinidad. Trinidad shut down everything. People had the lines and the lines and parties, everything. The hurricane was so nope! We go in Barbados instead. I was like, damn. But I believe later on, me and my me, and my cousins and my neighbors, because we live like at the bottom of a hill, <laughs> we went outside when the water was like rushing coming down. And it's when the eye of the storm were over us. So we went down at the we went on the main road. Where all the water was, all the dirty water with the way it was rushing coming down the hill. And they had like a little, um, it's not a surfboard, but one of the little foam boards. And we were sitting on it, letting the water take down the road. And then we got shouted at, and we were called in, so it was like, oh shit. We just started doing bare foolishness, but alright, alright. How do you open a coconut? Um, the stack of Collins or machete, some people will probably say. We don't hear we say Collins. And, but I never did it. I don't think I ever would. But I do believe that they, like, chop away at the top and go around in a circle until you get a little bit, until you get to the shell, the hard brown shell on the inside. Then chip it away to get a hole. And then stick in a straw, drink out the juice, or pour the juice. And... Cut the rest of the coconut in half and they go to jelly. If you could change one thing about your island, what would it be and why? Okay, so... <laughs> if I could, it would have to be like the cost of living, Beijing is getting lit back right now with some prices, cobbling... Like... Shit. Bus fare just went up from $2 to $3.50. I would have gone from spending $20 minimum to $35 minimum a week and this is if I leave home to go to and I come back and that's just you know two buses in a day so now I'm at UE if I don't get the shuttle I gotta get a van so if you look at it this way I went from spending $40 a week to $70 a week in bus fare alone then we got taxes maybe people import things and like on the port, you have to pay almost double the price. Because be like, this isn't even worth it, bringing in things. I think I saw somebody on Twitter say something about they ordered 
something and they had to pay 200 and something dollars to clear at the port and the item wasn't even that's our price it's like everything is so high so much so that even like students who came in um to go to UV they're complaining about the prices <sighs> however the one thing Beijing's do get for free is education so right now the government is paying our tuition and what we Beijing's have to do if you're part-time you have to do a hundred volunteer hours a year but if you're full-time you have to do 150 volunteer hours a year how much have I done right now but don't worry that getting start out like ASAP and yeah I mean cost of living is just too damn high what is your goal or goals for your YouTube channel. Um, I want to grow my subscribers. I want to have fun, and I want to continue documenting my way through UV and all the little things in between. And hopefully, I get to do a lot more opportunities to race. But who knows? Who knows? Thank you so much for watching <laughs> my video. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Maybe share it, and I will see you guys later in another video. Bye guys!